everyone, it's Kaylin Callender from Lake Hope State Park and today I'm cleaning hummingbird feeders, getting ready for the upcoming season. Now hummingbirds have already been spotted in Ohio, so now is the time to get your feeders out. You want to get them out of storage and get them clean, and throughout the season you want to be cleaning them regularly. Clean feeders equal healthy hummingbirds. So if you're new to hummingbird feeding, there's a couple things you want to consider. There are two different types of hummingbird feeders. The left is a disc feeder and the right is a bottle feeder, which is the kind that we use at the park. Whatever kind that you decide on that's best for you, just make sure that's really easy to clean. I like ours because they have a nice wide opening, just like this one here, and they uh, come apart at the base also into two parts, so they are really easy to clean. Now when you clean your feeders, you want to use hot soapy water, like what I have right here. I'm just giving these a nice good scrub, and then I'm going to let them air dry. If you do find any black mold or buildup of the sugar water, make sure that you um, scrub it really good and if it is not scrubbing off then you can soak it in a two part water to one part white vinegar solution and let it sit for about an hour now with all hummingbird feeders you're going to find um, that they will have these little tiny holes where the hummingbird feeders are, are feeding from what i like to do is take one of these little straw cleaners these bo um, straw bottle brushes and uh, get inside all those little holes so you get everything out of there. All the black mold that's going to um, hopefully not build up if you're cleaning your feeders. So, a couple features that you also might want to look for is a uh, what we use at the park. This is an ant guard. It hangs on top of your feeder here and you fill that with water. The ants can't come down. Now if you have issues with ants or if you have issues with um, bees or wasps feeding off of your sugar water and you have a feeder that's like this with yellow on it, you might want to try and remove that yellow. Um, you could even paint it a red color or any color for that matter because yellow is going to be an attractant for insects. All you need to fill your feeders is plain granulated cane sugar and hot water. It's a one part sugar to four parts water ratio. So I have two quarts of boiled water here and two cups of sugar. After you boil the water, just dump the sugar in and you're gonna stir until it completely dissolves. Remember, when you make your sugar solution, not to add any red food coloring. It's not needed because there's already red on your feeder and it's unhealthy for the birds. Make sure you hang it in a location that is high off the ground so no predators can get to them and make sure you're refilling and cleaning regularly. Thanks so much for watching today. Like us and share this post on Facebook and also be sure to check us out for hand feeding hummingbird programs hopefully later this summer.